Hey everyone, I'm Noreen Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Gen Con's releases, which unfortunately I didn't get the chance to go to Gen Con this year. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, this year I only went to one convention and that kind of really sucked. Well, the convention itself was amazing, um, but I didn't get a chance to go to any other conventions. And a lot of conventions are starting to open back up and it's this time of year and I can't go to them because I'm moving. So fun, fun. But tonight we are going to take a look over at Gen Con's releases for Games Workshop. So they have been busy again, and there is a lot to go over with Gen Con. The most exciting thing, of course, is the new Kill Team stuff. So they did release a brand new starter set for Kill Team. Uh, they even have Beanie Boy right on the front which has uh, some of the terrain, some of the, bar the barricades, the two armies, and all of the starting edition things that you need, including a smaller rule book. Absolutely great deal to grab if you wanna play some kill team. And they released the two armies, well, two armies, two box sets as their own individual boxes, which I personally think is a great idea. I knew they were gonna do these, but it's cool to see that they have already done them, or at least they'll be coming in the next few months. I'm going to say about two months at best, but we do get the Death Corps Krieg as well as the new Orc um, Commandos. And I got to say, out of the two, the Commandos just look better. My opinion, strictly my opinion. So I did want to actually pick up this starter set because as I told you guys, I am moving. So it's rather difficult for me to justify traveling with the entire box. So I'm just going to pick this one up once it comes out, once I'm in Iceland. So that's pretty much it for this starter box. We don't really need to go too in depth with it. We've already talked about the Kriegers and we've already talked about the Orcs in other videos. Both their models are absolutely amazing. I'm getting Kriegers and I'm gonna do head swaps on each and every single one of them to turn them into my Inquisitorial Acolyte team. So that's gonna be fun in the future. I'm excited about that. But then we had this and this is honestly incredible. This year, Warhammer is going back at Gen, is back at Gen Con, the longest running tabletop gaming event in North America, and we're already, uh, yada, yada, yada. We don't care about that. Ooh, we have a video. Let's take a look at this video. Let's take a look at this video. Ooh. Heard words in progress. Cool to see new town models. And the new system of Isiot. I think they're called the Isiots. They look really good. Again, their faces look like trash, but I've come to expect that. So that was that, and we have the new new kill team, which I'm not going to try to pronounce because I'm going to get it wrong. But we do get to see the brand new Sisters of Battle, and oddly enough, there's a lot to talk about here. These are not Sisters of Battle, not yet. Well, there's one. There's a Sister Superior. She is a Sister of Battle. She's in a full power armor and everything. But these other sisters, they're in a type of armor, maybe a heavy armor. But it is not a powered armor. They have no backpacks on them. And you can see that in these pictures here. So we got a lot here to talk about. We got a Hospitaller. We have a um, Dialogus. We have an Imagifier. Um, they have auto weapons instead of bolt weapons. We have one holding a chalice with a type of... Nope, that's an auto pistol. We have a power sword on this girl. We have a power sword on that girl. Hopefully it's a power sword, not just a regular sword. We have a mace on this girl, so this girl's training to be a cannoness of some sort. Um, there's a there's a ton of stuff to look at here. Like all of these girls look like they're going to be specially trained within a unique field. And there's even one somewhere, there she is, with the chainsword or an eviscerator. 
So it's, it's really cool to see all these girls just out. And this shows me that um, these sisters are the ones that are in training to be battle sisters themselves. And I really like that. Passing word of faith finds himself in the Fidax system, largely by chance, discovering a core world rife with Xeno's corruption. Among the kill team deployed to the surface are a band of oh, novitiates. I was right. Zealous battle sisters in training, looking to prove themselves uh, worthy of advancement. I was right. Just want to call that. Just want to call that. And they are martyred lady, but they're not wearing the red and black yet. Also, if you notice, their hair isn't white yet. So, okay. Quick little history lesson on Sisters of Battle, Martyred Lady specifically. Martyred Lady go through a couple of trials. One is getting their armor. One is getting their hair dyed white as a sign of purity. Not all of them do that. And the other is getting their weapons and then getting their helmets. Their helmet is the last thing that they earn and all of which are a sign of purity. So it's really cool to see all these sisters and everything and all the trials that they have to go through in order to be Battle Sisters. So now we get some a good look at them. Um, again, let's forgive the faces. GW can't paint faces. These look a lot better than the Battle Sister faces of old. So we got a plasma pistol and a power sword. Uh, if you want to use her in a regular game, that's a perfect setup for a Palantine. We got the Eviscerator. They do have frag and crack grenades, it looks like, so that's good. They have a pistol on the side. We got a mace of some type, and we got the Condemner crossbow, which is really cool. We got this uh, standard that doesn't look as detailed as the others with her auto pistol. Then we got her with a mace that actually looks like it was stolen from the Dark Angels, which I absolutely love, and a chalice. I'm wondering what the chalice does. We got her with two Nero whips and her with a, um, oh my god, what is it called? Narthesium. So this one is definitely in training to be a uh, hospitaler. And judging by the grenade hanging on her side and her and her pistol, she has not taken the oath of pacifism yet. Quick little note for you guys. Uh, hospitaler has taken oath of pacifism. She has a sword and a uh, dagger. Uh, you shouldn't be wielding it backhanded. Like if you're going to be wielding two weapons, you want them forward facing. And a parrying dagger is actually pretty good, but not with that, that type of sword. But regardless, she's got a frag grenade on her side and a bolt, and a, I keep wanting to say bolt pistol, auto pistol on her side. We got another one with some type of rod or mace, and this is the Dialogus. So that's, that's incredible. These are lighter armored. Yeah, this is like carapace armor. This is not like power armor. So I'm glad that I was right about this, just guessing. Um, our team's trained aspirants for many of the sisters' orders, minor orders, as they carry a wide variety of holy relics into battle. I was right about that. This is a totally new kit for battle sister units uh, we've never seen before. Uh, as with the Orc Commandos and the Death Corps Creeks before them, the Novitiates have been designed specifically for the teams of Kill Team, and they come with immense flexibility in terms of loadout and positioning. Well, if they're built like the other kits, they don't include that and instead include just swappable weapons. Um, after being chased out of the system, the tower return with a fleet of their own. This kill team is specified is specialized pathfinders from the vanguard using uh, new equipment and advanced technologies to undermine the Imperium's military strength. And they look Kind of exactly the same as regular Pathfinders, I'm not going to lie. Like, there's a bunch of new head options, and I do like this where they have this uh, backwards-facing skull. Like, okay, so the skull goes like, it's like a bean at the back of it, and then it goes around. So it's like this this weird shape. Um, it just makes them a bit more alien, and I really like that in their design. I like this guy catching a monster energy. That's pretty neat on Mosquito. They look so short. I always like the Tau for how short they are. Because the average Tau warrior stands at like five foot, I think like five foot five. I know they're under six foot and it's hilarious. But yeah, overall their team looks really good. They got their drones and everything. They got a Markalite drone. And a, um, a twin carbine drone. 
and a burst cannon drone. Overall, they look pretty good. Can't complain about that. But honestly, I'm not too impressed with Tau. Like, it would have been cool to see some stealth suits with them, but that's just me. And then we get to look at the actual battlefield that it comes with, and this is incredible. Like, this is just good for terrain for 40k as well. So, good terrain, good loadout, and we do get to see some of the different uh, sister weapons. Like, this one is holding some type of sword over here. Um, we don't, this picture's too grainy to actually see everything, so that kind of sucks. And then we get the new battle book. Not a big fan of the cover art, but it's okay. It, it's okay. It's okay. Overall, I'm really excited about this box, though. Getting some novitiates and some lore on the sisters is always good. And then I think this is just the same exact thing. Yes, it is. And then we got some Underworld stuff with this sister of battle, who I don't care what anybody says that's just a sister of battle. Like, she looks incredible. Like, this would make an incredible Inquisitor model for 40k if you want to do that kind of thing. So, it's a new box game for Underworlds, which is honestly... Oh, what is this one called? It's Underworld Harrowing Depths? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. And then they're fighting the Cruel Boys, it looks like. He looks like something out of Mad Max. Actually, all of these guys look like they're out of Mad Max. It's like orcs in the Mad Max universe. They look really good. Happy with them. These just look phenomenal. Like, I'm half tempted to take her and just use her as an Inquisitor in 40k. Honestly, all of these would work as Inquisitors. Except for maybe this guy. But there's Burb. And Burb is best Burb. I love Burb. Okay, and then we get some really nice art and everything. I'm not really going to read too much into this because I'm probably going to do a box opening later this month, if not next month. And I think that is it. So we had a lot of new things being shown off at Gen Con. Not too much crazy stuff. Not something that we didn't fully expect. Uh, the sisters were pretty unique. And now I'm going to talk about just something really quickly that I want for for Kill Team. I want them to incorporate their other games. I want Kill Team uh, to incorporate some of the gangs. I think that'd be really cool. I want them to keep exploring the different types of things that they can do. I want an Inquisitor with some Acolytes. I want a Rogue Trader. I want them to bring new rules for the Rogue Trader teams into this game. I want to keep seeing like new and unique things. Like I want to see, like we have Novitiates for Sisters of Battle. Let's see other Warriors Novitiates fighting it out. That would be pretty cool, like young Eldar, like the new Eldar. And I say new Eldar, but like they're younger versions of themselves. Like, because Eldar do breed, it's just at a very low rate. So maybe getting some of them in here would be pretty neato, Mosquito. But I don't know. I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think these sisters look like garbage or do you think they look really cool? Personally, I want to get them simply for the relics and the conversion opportunities, as well as just having them. So I'm probably going to pick up like two sets. So I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, follow up the links. You can follow me on Patreon. Patreon is awesome. And it helps me out quite a bit. As always, I'm Narn Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.